G'day you good motherfuckers, my name's Isaac Butterfield and if you don't know who this video is about, then have a look at this. There's a lady behind me feeding cats! I'm seeing stars. I'm <laughs> seeing stars. Now I've always felt that something was off with this dude. And you may say, well, bloody obviously, Isaac, look at him. But I don't mean like that. Nicocardo Avocado is known and famous for eating giant amounts of food. He's also famous for being absolutely mental, losing his shit on camera, shitting himself on camera. All of these crazy things, that's what he's known for and that's how he's made a career. A very successful career. He makes a shit ton of money, not just from ads on YouTube, but also from his OnlyFans, which I've had the displeasure of seeing. I've seen his entire arsehole and he sells merch as well. We've laughed at this man, we've probably cried because of this man and we've been genuinely shocked by who this man is, but I think it's all an act. I believe, with every fibre in my beard, that this dude is taking the piss out of everyone. Sure, he's abusing his body, but he's making a lot of money doing it. And I think that he is working on something more. I think he's working on a documentary. I think he's working on something like a Louis Thoreau documentary, or for those of you who don't know who Louis Thoreau is, like a Shane Dawson documentary. I think he's working on something that will surprise all of us. Now, why do I think this? Well, he posted a video recently called The Best Burger I've Ever Had. And you probably thought, well, you're just gonna eat a big fucking burger and be a big fat piece of shit. But no, something happened at the start that will shock you. I am always two steps ahead. This has been certainly the greatest social experiment of my entire life. That is weird, considering he starts most of his videos in this fashion. Oh. I'm mad. I'm angry out my way. How many times do I have to do this? How many times my knees are gonna buckle because I'm skinny? I don't know if you noticed the difference there. It is subtle. So why the change? Why has he gone from this crazy, crazy human being to something very dramatic? I know for a fact that he's smart. He is a trained classical violinist, all right? We know you have to be at least somewhat intelligent to do that. So surely there's more to this man than feeding his fucking face. And that, alongside the video that he released where he's creepily talking into the camera, should terrify us all. I don't know what he's got planned. I wonder if he's not even the one being the puppeteer, profiting from this man's demise. It's compelling, it's gripping to bear witness, to observe all these unwell beings roam the internet where people develop a distinctive desire for direct engagement. That's horrifying. I feel like he's talking directly to me. Has this all just been a study from what he's seen and his lived experience online? Am I giving him too much credit? Is this just him fucking around? I really don't know. Whatever it is, it's quite compelling because I thought I'd seen everything from Nikocado Avocado because genuinely I have. I've seen his asshole, remember? I feel as if my life has been positioned to where I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. Well, now you sound like an absolute fucking serial killer. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's it's mesmerizing. You're giving me modern day Ted Bundy vibes, you fucking creep. It's enthralling. It's spellbinding. Just look at all these consumers. That is so creepy. His next video will be, I ate an entire backpacker, mukbang, I spewed, can't believe it. I am the villain. I make myself one. 
what is going on here? Remember, his last videos were Tammy tries Mexican food mukbang, Carl's Jr. 4,922 calorie cheat day mukbang, intense in and out cravings, emotional mukbang, and then this. It is weird. It is like some strange part of a movie and it's a little Easter egg for people to find when they find out that something horrible has happened. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ant. Fuck me, fellow ants. We're in trouble. Is Avocado teaming up with Putin here? I'm gonna go out on an absolutely crazy limb and I'm gonna say yes, absolutely. Now the video goes on, he remains in this weird, like, mm, creepy character. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna eat some ants? Uh, he stays in that character for a bit and never really mentions it anywhere and it goes unnoticed until some people on TikTok found it and it gained some traction. Now, I just wanna point out that Avocado is made fun of a lot. But recently something else happened that when you join the dots with these, makes you go, what the fuck's going on? A woman stabbed to death during a Nikocado avocado video. Now I'm not suggesting that he was responsible. I'm just suggesting, what the fuck's going on, Nick? Fans of Nikocado avocado, fans, were left concerned after hearing what sounded like screams in the background of one of his videos. And this time it's not his heart getting clogged up with shit. In a video uploaded on March 5th titled Our Final Video Together, the mukbang YouTuber and his ex are in the middle of eating nuggets. <laughs> so relatable. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> when you connect all these dots, okay, he is. And I'm not suggesting that he's killed anyone. I'm just saying it's it's a fun conspiracy theory, okay? He's put out this video and he's heaps sinister and, and then he's saying everyone is an ant. And now he's put up a thing saying our final video together. And then there's a woman in the background screaming. Listen, this is a fucking, what's that prick who wrote the Da Vinci Code? A Dan fucking, hang on. A Dan Brown novel. It's a Dan Brown novel getting written right now. Let's have a listen. Not the consistency of just the actual nugget, but how consistently um, they're always on point. Again, they taste like this, but you know, a little greasier. Did you hear that in between the burping? Did you hear that? Let's play it again. You know, a little I mean, is that real? Is this, is this actually happening? Did someone actually get stabbed there? Because that's what the reports were all over the internet. Apparently a woman was stabbed and died whilst he was recording his video. But through everything I read on this, there was no confirmation. If you got confirmation, please let me know. But there was no confirmation. And then just after that at 34 minutes and 20 seconds or something like that, there's an ad put into the video. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in the YouTube studio that YouTube creators upload their videos into, you can go and put an ad where you want it to be. So Avocado knows that people are going to his video to listen to the scream, and he's put an ad there so he can benefit from that. I mean, you know, that's smart. Smart, I guess. It's also a bit creepy. I guess I'd probably do the same. So it leaves me with the question, is this deliberate? Was it fake? Or is it real? Because as I said, I can't find the story. There's no media source that's reputable saying that a woman was actually killed. Was this faked? As he said in his creepy video, he is two steps ahead. But to Nick Accardo, Avocado's credit, he did put this story out on his Instagram stories. Apparently someone got stabbed in my building. And in my video, the evidence was there at the 34 mark. <laughs> I honestly don't, I don't even know what to make of this. And I'll say this, maybe I'm just fucking looking into this too much. Maybe I'm trying to connect dots that don't actually exist. But you know, did he fake it? Adding screams of a woman pretending to die or fake screams into a video so that it goes viral on TikTok and then you get millions of people going to the video. It's pretty smart. It's really easy to do as well. Did you notice it earlier on in this video? So I do not know what the fuck is going on. All I know is Nico Avocado has several screws fucking loose or he's an amazing actor. I really don't know what's going on. He's, I mean, actors have done this shit before. People have been uh, method actors for years. Could he be the best method actor of all time? People have lost weight, gained weight. He's put a lot of weight on. Could he be the best method actor of all time, Nick? 
I don't know if the whole OnlyFans thing is also an act. That's probably going a bit far to have your cock out or in someone else's asshole on OnlyFans just as a part of the method acting process. That's probably a little bit too far. But anyway, hey, whatever. You're the fucking master. I don't know what's going on. I'm not suggesting he's killed anyone. I'm not suggesting he's a serial killer. All I'm suggesting is it's fun to come up with different conspiracies. Please let me know your favorite theory down below in the comment section. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Hey, by the way, do you like this t-shirt? Well, they're sold out, you fucking idiots, all right? You need to go and get these drops as they happen. And it just so happens that one happened on Monday. So I'll see you very, very soon, perhaps even tomorrow for another video. Toodaloo, au revoir, bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the video. Your support means absolutely everything. If you haven't subscribed, do it right now. You keep me dogs fed and I love you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, there's three new videos on this channel every week. And if you want more, you can head over to Little Buttsman, which is the second channel. Ladies and gentlemen, there is more. What about the podcast each and every week? It's available on Spotify and YouTube as well. And I'm also on tour right now around the country doing my show, Cancel Me Now. Stand-up comedy is back ladies and gentlemen and please for christ's sake follow me on instagram i'm very lonely love you bye